the Instax Mini 11 is currently the best budget instant camera out there. However, it's not without its issues and in this video, I'm going to show you four of the most common issues that Mini 11 users experience and I'm going to show you how to solve them. Thankfully, all of these issues can be fixed without repairing or disassembling the camera and they mostly involve changing the habits of the user. Overexposure happens when the camera chooses to expose too much, causing the picture to be too bright or too light. Generally, this happens because the camera is fooled into adding more exposure or light into the picture. It can also happen if the subject is too close to the flash. How do you fix this? Choose flat, even lighting for your pictures so that your camera won't be fooled into choosing a wrong exposure. Also, don't block the sensors at the side of the camera. Those are the ones that measure the light that's coming into the camera. And when you block that, the camera thinks it's very dark. So it tries to add more light to compensate. Also make sure that your subject is at least one meter away from the flash. Otherwise, it will be too powerful. The second issue that most users experience is slow speed blur. Most users typically experience this indoors or whenever it's dark. The camera uses a slow shutter speed of about one half of a second when it's dark. That's just the way cameras work when light is low. How do you avoid this? Well, you just need to stop the camera from shaking and you also need your subject to keep still. So make sure that you look at the manual and look at how you hold your camera. Support it with two hands. Don't jerk or poke the shutter button. Instead, press it gently with the pad of your finger. Also, try bracing the camera when indoors. You can put it on a tripod or table just to keep it from shaking. Also, have your subject stay still and make sure that your subject is in range of the flash because the flash also helps in freezing the action of your subject. The third most common issue is blinking lights. Now, when Instax cameras have blinking lights when you open them, that's the way for the camera to tell you that there's some sort of general error. With the Instax Mini 11, 99% of the time, that just means that the battery is low. Of course, this is easy to fix. Just replace the battery and it should work again. So just make sure that you replace the batteries when you have an important event and make sure that you use the correct type of batteries, which are alkaline batteries. The last and the most difficult issue of all is black photos. In film cameras, black or blank pictures are a bad sign. That usually means there's something wrong with the camera or the shutter. It's black because there's no light reaching the film. However, on the Mini 11, it happens for a simple reason. With the Mini 11, you need to press the lens release button to open the lens. Sometimes the lens cover gets stuck and what happens is the lens opens, the camera works, but the lens is still covered by the lens cover. What do you do in case you encounter this? When you open your camera, just look at the lens if the lens cover is open. If it's not open, just put the lens back and press firmly to make sure that the spring inside gets a lot of force and it forces the shutter to open. After doing this and checking every time, I didn't have any black photos again. So there you go, those are the four main issues encountered with the Instax Mini 11. If the video has been helpful for you, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel much. And if you have a question about the Mini 11 that's not covered in this section, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. And until then, see you on the next video.